Hello everyone, welcome back. This is international business class that is unit 3 class 5 and in this class 5 we are going to discuss about legal environment. Kanunu Parisara. So what is the meaning of uh, legal environment that is international business legal environment and how this legal environment or laws affects the business activities are being discussed in this video. So Kanunu Parisara Andrenu Mati Kanunu Galu Yariti on the Antarashri Vavahara the Mele Parinama Pirta Vanodana E video the Charche Marta Divi. First let's see what is legal environment. The code of conduct of any company is termed as legal environment of business. It defines the legal boundaries or the framework within which the firm should work. The laws which are passed by the government for business operation is called legal environment. In every country, the government frames the policies and regulates the business activities. These regulations of government are considered as legal environment. So, in every country, uh, we have different types of rules, uh, laws, uh, regulations, uh, wherein everyone has to follow those uh, rules and regulations and play within the legal framework. We should not cross these legal boundaries. So, or else uh, uh, those people who cross the boundaries will be punished. So, we have to play within the legal boundaries. We have to follow the rules and regulations. Here in business also, we have some rules and regulations, laws related to business activities. The business people or the businessman has to follow all these rules and regulations in order to run his business smoothly without any creating any problem in his business activities. So, uh, these government framed policies or rules or regulations uh, related to business activities are called in uh, business legal environment. Yaude company a niti samhita yenu vevahar the kanunu parisara yendu kariala gutede. Ido kanunu gadigalano atava samstayu kelasa mada veka the chaukatanu vacanisutade. Vevahara kare charle gagi sarkaravu angi karisida kanunu galanu kanunu parisara yendu kariala gutade. Prati underalu de prati underalu desha sarkaravu niti galanu rupisuta de matu. Vapara Chatu Vatikalanu ni and Trisutta de Sarkara the E Niamagalanu, Kanunu Parisara and the Pariganisa Lagutere. So Prati Vandu de Shada, other the Adanta Kanuna Galirote, other the Adanta Niti Niamagalitave. So Prati Wabaru, a Lirota Nagarikaru, Avon the Niti Niamagala, on the Kanunu Chokatin, Valagan, now Kelsa Madbe Kavate, other iti on the Vavahara Samstego, other the Adanta Kelandu, Niti Niamagalitave, Kanunu Galitave. Our Niti Niamagalana Nusarisi uh Hodaga Awan Vevara Sam Stege Yaude Ritiada Tondre Unta Vodila and the Hatar. So the legal environment of business is defined as the framework of rules and regulations, bylaws, and various legislations that govern and control international business organizations. The legal environment dominates the business environment of the country. The factors or components that impact the international business are first one is legal system and the second one is international laws and regulations. So as I said earlier, every business house, house uh, should be within the framework of the uh, rules or regulations or laws. They have to play within the framework. They should not cross the boundaries of any law. It, it may be within the country or it, it may be outside the country. So, uh, the factors uh, we have here are two types, legal system and international laws and regulations. We will discuss it later. Vyapara da kanunu parisara vana antarashtre vyapara samsthegalanu niyantrisuva niyama galu matu nirbhandene galu baila galu matu vivida shasana galu chaukatto yendu vakhani salagi de. Kanunu parisara vu desha da Vevahara Parisara the Li Prabhalya Hondide. Antarashri Vapara the Mele Prabhava Birva Amshagulata Ghatakagalya Vevandre Kanunu Vevaste Matantarashriya Kanunu Golmatu Nirbhanda Negalu. So what is uh, this legal system? Business firms that operate internationally will face different laws, regulations, and legal systems in different countries. 
Legal system is a process by which a governing body enforce the law and legal procedures. There are three main legal systems globally. They are common law, three, sorry, four main legal system globally. They are common law, civil law, Islamic law or socialistic legal system. So, the, uh, the business house when it crosses the national border and goes to other country or foreign country to uh, conduct its business, it has to face different kinds of uh, laws, regulations and legal system of that host country that is in which it wants to do the business. That country will be having its own rules and regulations and laws. So it has to uh, face that legal uh, acts or rules or regulations. So we have different kinds of legal systems throughout the world. Those are common law, civil law, Islamic law and socialistic law legal system. We will see in detail in the next slide. Kanunu Vyavaste, Antarashriya Mattadalli, Karya Nirvahiso, Vyapara Samstegalu, Vivida Deshagalli, Vibhinna Kanunu Galu, Nirbhanne Negalu, Matu Kanunu Vyavaste, Nu Edirisa Beka Uttede. Kanunu Vyavaste, Yu Adalita Mandaliya, Kanunu Matu Kanunu Karya Vidhana Galanu, Jari Gulisuva, Prakriya Yagide, Jagatika Vagi Muru, sorry, Nalku, Pramoka Kanunu Vyavaste Galive, Avu Samanya Kanunu, Nagarika Kanunu, Islamic Kanun Atho Dharmika Kanunu Matu Samajavadi Kanunu Vevastega Lagi Dave. So one the Desha in the Inunda Desha Ki Hodaga on the Vevara Sanste, Tanda Desha the Gadian Nadati Inunda Desha Ki Vevaharu Madalu Hodaga, Bere Desha Galali, other the Adanta, Kelon the Kanunu Galidave, A Kanunu Galata, Kanunu Vevastega Lidave, Avia Vevastega Landre, Nalku Taipidave, or the Samania Kanunu Vevaste, Nagarika Kanunu Vevaste, Islamic Kanunu Vevaste Matu, Samajavadi. Kanunu Vyavaste. So first see, let us see what is this common law. Common law also known as case law is a series of unwritten laws based on past cases because there is no official legal court that can apply to a case at hand. Courts create common law by trying different types of cases through interpretation of past rulings. The judge presiding over a case determines which rule apply to that particular case. Common law originated from inland and it is followed in most of the former British colonies such as India, UK, US, Canada, Australia and New Zealand. So common law here means it is there is no any written laws here. So uh, on the uh, past records on the basis of past records or on the basis of past cases uh, they decide what will be uh, the judgment of the forthcoming or present cases so uh, there is no any written uh, laws here it's all depends on the past cases they study it they analyze it. what are what are the judgments given before uh, are being analyzed and the new or the same judgment can be given in the uh, forthcoming or present cases. So such type of laws are called as common law. So uh, or which uh, rule apply that particular the, the judge presiding over a case determines which rule apply to that particular case. So it is the uh, uh, judge who is, who is going to decide uh, to give the answer or uh, which rule should be applied to that particular case is being decided by the judge sitting on the chair. So, Samanya Kanunu. Samanya Kanunu is the Hindi Rupu Nyaya Indu Kariyottare. Idu Hindi na Prakaranagala Aadharada Mele Alikita Kanunu Gala Sarani Yagide. Yekandere, one the Prakaranakke Anvai Sapahudada Yaude Adikruta Kanunu Kod Illa. Hindi na Tirpu Gala Vyakana da Mulaka Vivida Ritya Prakaranaglano Prayatisuva Mulaka Nyaya Layagalu Samanya Kanuna no Rachisuttave Prakarana Dekshate Vahisiru Naya Dishuru A Nirdishta Prakaranake Yava Niyama and Vai Sutta de Mudanu near the Suttare Samanya Kanunu inland in the Hutti Hutti Kondida Kondide Matu Bharata UK US Canada Australia Matu New Zealand Nanta Hindina British 
ವಸಾಹತುಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಇದನ್ನು ಅನುಸರಿಸಲಾಗುತ್ತದೆ ಸೊ ಈ ಒಂದು ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯ ಕಾನೂನಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವುದೇ ಕಾನೂನು ಅಲಿಖಿ ಲಿಖಿತವಾಗಿರೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಅಲಿಖಿತವಾಗಿರುವಂತಹ ಕಾನೂನು ಸರಣಿಯಾಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಇದು ಪ್ರಕರಣಕ್ಕೆ ಅನ್ವಯಿಸಬಹುದಾದ ಯಾವುದೇ ಅಧಿಕೃತ ಕಾನೂನು ಕೋಡ್ ಇರೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಹಿಂದೆ ನಡೆದಿರುವಂತ ಯಾವುದೇ ಒಂದು ಕೇಸ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಹಿಂದೆ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿರುವಂತ ತೀರ್ಪುಗಳ ಆಧಾರದ ಮೇಲೆ ಈ ಒಂದು ಕೇಸ್ಗೆ ಯಾವ ಒಂದು ತೀರ್ಪು ಸೂಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅನ್ನೋದ್ರ ಮೇಲೆ ತೀರ್ಮಾನಗಳನ್ನು ಜಡ್ಜ್ ಇರುವಂತ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಆ ಒಂದು ಅಧ್ಯಕ್ಷತೆ ವಹಿಸಿರುವ ನ್ಯಾಯಾಧೀಶರು ತೀರ್ಮಾನವನ್ನು ಕೈಗೊಳ್ತಾರೆ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವುದೇ ರೀತಿಯಾದ ಲಿಖಿತ ಕಾನೂನುಗಳು ಇರೋದಿಲ್ಲ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಿವಿಲ್ ಲಾ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ನೋನ್ ಆಸ್ ಕೋಡ್ ಆರ್ ಸಿವಿಲ್ ಲಾ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ಎ ಕಾಂಪ್ರಿಹೆನ್ಸಿವ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಆಫ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಯೂಸ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಲೆಜಿಸ್ಲೇಟರ್ಸ್ ಅ ಸಿವಿಲ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ಲಿ ಡಿಫೈನ್ಸ್ ದ ಕೇಸಸ್ ದಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಬ್ರಾಟ್ ಟು ಕೋರ್ಟ್ ದ ಪ್ರೊಸೀಜರ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ಲೇಮ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಪನಿಷ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅನ್ ಆಫೆನ್ಸ್ judicial authorities use the conditions in the applicable civil code to evaluate the facts of each case make legislative decisions to create order and reduce biased systems so it is quite opposite to common law here in civil law we have written set of laws so so what kind of case what will be the judgment what will be the, the procedures to be followed all these things are written in this civil law so any uh, uh, the judgment or the judges or the lawyers will follow the set of written rules and regulations uh, while uh, handling this case so for give, for giving any judgment or for any punishment if they have made the mistake uh, they will be punished also all these things are been written in civil law so they have to they will follow the rules and regulations which are written in this civil ಲಾ ಸಿವಿಲ್ ಕಾನೂನು ಕೋಡ್ ಅಥವಾ ಸಿವಿಲ್ ಕಾನೂನು ಎಂದು ಕರೆಯಲಾಗುತ್ತಾರೆ ಇದು ಶಾಸಕರು ರಚಿಸಿದ ಲಿಖಿತ ಶಾಸನಗಳ ಸಮಗ್ರ ಸೆಟ್ ಅನ್ನು ಆಧರಿಸಿದೆ ನಾಗರಿಕ ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥೆಯು ನ್ಯಾಯಾಲಯಕ್ಕೆ ತರಬಹುದಾದ ಪ್ರಕರಣಗಳು ಕ್ಲೇಮ್ಗಳನ್ನು ನಿರ್ವಹಿಸುವ ಕಾರ್ಯವಿಧಾನಗಳು ಮತ್ತು ಅಪರಾಧಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ಶಿಕ್ಷೆಯನ್ನು ಸ್ಪಷ್ಟವಾಗಿ ವ್ಯಾಖ್ಯಾನಿಸುತ್ತದೆ ನ್ಯಾಯಾಂಗ ಅಧಿಕಾರಿಗಳು ಪ್ರತಿ ಪ್ರಕರಣದ ಸತ್ಯಗಳನ್ನು ಮೌಲ್ಯಮಾಪನ ಮಾಡಲು ಕ್ರಮವನ್ನು ರಚಿಸಲು ಮತ್ತು ಪಕ್ಷಪಾತದ ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥೆಗಳನ್ನು ಕಡಿಮೆ ಮಾಡಲು ಶಾಸಕಾಂಗ ನಿರ್ಧಾರಗಳನ್ನು ತೆಗೆದುಕೊಳ್ಳಲು ಅನ್ವಯಿಸುವ ಸಿವಿಲ್ ಕೋಡಲ್ಲಿರುವ ಷರತ್ತುಗಳನ್ನು ಬಳಸುತ್ತಾರೆ ಸೊ ಈ ಸಿವಿಲ್ ಕೋಡ್ ಅನ್ನು ಇದು ಲಿಖಿತ ರೂಪದಲ್ಲಿರುವಂತ ಒಂದು ಸಮಗ್ರ ವಾದಂತ ಒಂದು ಮಾಹಿತಿ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಒಂದು ಲಾ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಯಾವ ಒಂದು ಪ್ರಕರಣಗಳು ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಅನ್ವಯಿಸುತ್ತೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಕ್ಲೇಮ್ಗಳನ್ನ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಶಿಕ್ಷೆಗಳನ್ನ ಕೊಡಬಹುದು ಅನ್ನೋದೆಲ್ಲ ಲಿಖಿತ ರೂಪದಲ್ಲೇ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಒಂದು ನ್ಯಾಯಾಂಗ ಅಧಿಕ ಅಧಿಕಾರಗಳು ಪ್ರತಿ ಪ್ರಕರಣಕ್ಕೆ ಸತ್ಯಗಳನ್ನು ಮೌಲ್ಯಮಾಪನ ಮಾಡಿ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಒಂದು ಜಡ್ಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಕೊಡುವಂತ ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಸಿವಿಲ್ ಕಾನೂನಲ್ಲಿ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಥಿಯೋಕ್ರೆಟಿಕ್ ಲಾ Theocratic law is the legal system based on religious doctrine, precepts or rules and beliefs. Unlike the countries dominated by Christianity, Hinduism and Buddhism, whether, where either common or civil law is followed, a large number of Islamic countries integrate their legal system based on Sharai law, based on the Islamic Quran, where theoretic law is strong, companies doing business overseas should be prepared for conditions not commonly seen in their domestic country so here also in the uh, theocratic law they follow the islamic quran rules and regulations that is based on sharai law so the country it may belong to any christianity or hinduism or buddhism when it enters some islamic countries they will follow they have to follow this theocratic law so which is a very uh, challenging or it may become sometimes if they are not following in their country going to that country they have to follow all this islamic uh, uh, rule signed regulations so it becomes sometimes challenging or it may be uh, favorable also sometimes so this is called as theocratic law ದೇವ ಪ್ರಭುತ್ವದ ಕಾನೂನು ದೇವ ಪ್ರಭುತ್ವಾತ್ಮಕ ಕಾನೂನು ಧಾರ್ಮಿಕ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತ ನಿಯಮಗಳು ಮತ್ತು ನಂಬಿಕೆಗಳ ಆಧಾರದ ಮೇಲೆ ಕಾನೂನು ವ್ಯವಸ್
ಕ್ರಿಶ್ಚಿಯನ್ ಧರ್ಮ ಹಿಂದೂ ಧರ್ಮ ಮತ್ತು ಬೌದ್ಧ ಧರ್ಮದ ಪ್ರಾಬಲ್ಯ ಹೊಂದಿರುವ ದೇಶಗಳಿಗಿಂತ ಭಿನ್ನವಾಗಿ ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯ ಅಥವಾ ನಾಗರಿಕ ಕಾನೂನನ್ನು ಅನುಸರಿಸಲಾಗುತ್ತದೆ ಹೆಚ್ಚಿನ ಸಂಖ್ಯೆ ಇಸ್ಲಾಮಿಕ್ ರಾಷ್ಟ್ರಗಳು ಇಸ್ಲಾಮಿಕ್ ಖುರಾನ್ ಆಧಾರಿತ ಶರೀಯ ಕಾನೂನಿನ ಆಧಾರದ ಮೇಲೆ ತಮ್ಮ ಕಾನೂನು ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥೆಯನ್ನು ಸಂಯೋಜಿಸುತ್ತವೆ ದೇವ ಪ್ರಭುತ್ವಾತ್ಮಕ ಕಾನೂನು ಬಲವಾಗಿರು ಇರುವಲ್ಲಿ ಸಾಗರೋತ್ತರ ವ್ಯಾಪಾರ ಮಾಡುವ ಕಂಪನಿಗಳು ತಮ್ಮ ದೇಶೀಯ ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯವಾಗಿ ಕಂಡು ಬಾರದ ಪರಿಸ್ಥಿತಿಗಳಿಗೆ ಸಿದ್ಧರಾಗಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತದೆ ಸೊ ತಮ್ಮ ದೇಶದಲ್ಲಿ ಇಲ್ಲದೇ ಇರುವಂತ ಕೆಲವೊಂದು ಈ ಒಂದು ಇಸ್ಲಾಮಿಕ್ ಹ್ಮ್ ದೇವ ಪ್ರಭುತ್ವದ ಕಾನೂನು ಇಲ್ಲದೆ ಇರು ಇಲ್ಲದೆ ಇದ್ದಾಗ ಈ ದೇಶಕ್ಕಂತೆ ಬಂದಾಗ ಈ ದೇವ ಪ್ರಭುತ್ವ ಕಾನೂನು ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಎದುರಿಸಕ್ಕೆ ಈ ಒಂದು ವ್ಯವಹಾರ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಗಳು ನಿರ್ಧಾರ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಕ್ರಿಶ್ಚಿಯಾನಿಟಿ ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಹಿಂದೂ ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಬೌದ್ಧ ಧರ್ಮ ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಇಸ್ಲಾಮಿಕ್ ರಾಷ್ಟ್ರಗಳು ತಮ್ದೇ ಆದಂತ ಒಂದು ಕಾನೂನು ಅಲ್ಲಿ ರಚಿಸಿ ಆ ಕಾನೂನನ್ನು ಎಲ್ಲರಲ್ಲಿ ಬರುವಂತ ವ್ಯವಹಾರ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಗಳಿರ್ಬೋದು ಬೇರೆ ಜಾ ನಾಗರಿಕರಿರ್ಬೋದು ಆ ಒಂದು ಧರ್ಮವನ್ನು ಅವರು ಅಥವಾ ಕಾನೂನನ್ನು ಪಾಲಿಸಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೋಷಲಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಲಾ ಸೋಷಲಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಲಾ ಆರ್ ಸೋವಿಯತ್ ಲಾ ಇಸ್ ದ ಅಫಿಷಿಯಲ್ ನೇಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೀಗಲ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಸ್ it is based on the civil law system with major modifications and additions from marxist leninist ideology this law continues to influence legal framework in former communist countries such as china north korea vietnam and cuba socialist law traditionally advocates ownership of most property by the state or state owned public enterprises prohibiting free entry to foreign firms so in this socialist law it was a modified and addition made uh, based on civil law uh, who uh, additions made from marxist leninist ideology so it is a framework formed for communist countries uh, wherein uh, in, in communist or socialist system we see it is public owned or state owned enterprises or more there is no encouragement for privatization or there will be no any free entry of any business houses from other countries so it is quite difficult for the international business uh, to conduct the business in such socialistic law environment ಸಮಾಜವಾದಿ ಕಾನೂನು ಸಮಾಜವಾದಿ ಕಾನೂನು ಮತ್ತು ಸೋವಿಯತ್ ಕಾನೂನು ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಸ್ಟ್ ರಾಜ್ಯಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಬಳಸಲಾಗುವ ಕಾನೂನು ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥೆಯ ಅಧಿಕೃತ ಹೆಸರು ಇದು ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಲೆನಿನಿಸ್ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತದಿಂದ ಪ್ರಮುಖ ಮಾರ್ಪಾಡುಗಳು ಮತ್ತು ಸೇರ್ಪಡೆಗಳೊಂದಿಗೆ ನಾಗರಿಕ ಕಾನೂನು ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥೆಯನ್ನು ಆಧರಿಸಿದೆ ಈ ಕಾನೂನು ಹಿಂದಿನ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಸ್ಟ್ ರಾಷ್ಟ್ರಗಳಾದ ಚೀನಾ ಉತ್ತರ ಕೊರಿಯಾ ವಿಟ್ನೆಂ ಮತ್ತು ಕ್ಯೂಬಾದಲ್ಲಿ ಕಾನೂನು ಚೌಕಟ್ಟಿನ ಮೇಲೆ ಪ್ರಭಾವ ಬೀರುವುದನ್ನು ಮುಂದುವರಿಸಿದೆ ಸಮಾಜವಾದಿ ಕಾನೂನು ಸಾಂಪ್ರದಾಯಿಕವಾಗಿ ರಾಜ್ಯ ಅಥವಾ ಸರ್ಕಾರಿ ಸ್ವಾಮ್ಯದ ಸಾರ್ವಜನಿಕ ಉದ್ಯಮಗಳಿಗಿಂತ ಹೆಚ್ಚಿನ ಆಸ್ತಿಯ ಮಾಲೀಕತ್ವವನ್ನು ಪ್ರತಿಪಾದಿಸುತ್ತದೆ ವಿದೇಶಿ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಗಳಿಗೆ ಉಚಿತ ಪ್ರವೇಶವನ್ನು ನಿಷೇಧಿಸುತ್ತದೆ ಸೊ ಸಮಾಜವಾದಿ ಅಂತ ಬಂದಾಗ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಸರ್ಕಾರದ ಹಸ್ತಕ್ಷೇಪ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಇರುವಂತ ಒಂದು ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥೆ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವುದೇ ರೀತಿಯಾದ ಖಾಸಗೀಕರಣಕ್ಕೆ ಆದ್ಯತೆಯನ್ನು ಕೊಡೋದಿಲ್ಲ ನಿಷೇಧ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಹೀಗಾಗಿ ಅಂತಾರಾಷ್ಟ್ರೀಯ ವ್ಯಾಪಾರ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಗಳಿಗೆ ಇಂಥ ಒಂದು ಸಮಾಜವಾದಿ ಕಾನೂನು ಇರುವಂತ ದೇಶಗಳಿಗೆ ಹೋಗಿ ವ್ಯವಹಾರ ನಡೆಸಲು ತುಂಬಾ ಕಷ್ಟಕರವಾಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಹೇಳ್ಬೋದು ಅಂದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಂಟರ್ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ಲಾಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರೆಗ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ಸ್ international law also known as public international law and the law of nations is a set of rules norms and standards generally recognized as binding between countries or states the objective of international law is to promote friendly relationships among the member countries for providing basic human rights the purpose of international laws is to permit countries an authority over their own international business affairs these law helps in maximizing economic benefits of trade and working relationships with other nation so 
this is international laws uh, and regulations or the set of rules and norms and standards which are to be followed by the different nations who want to cross their borders and enter into other countries. So it is um, per main purpose of these uh, international laws and regulation is to permit other countries to enter uh, their country. And these laws helps in maximizing economic benefits of trade and working relationship with other country. So when we enter international business, we have seen what are the advantages. We can increase our sales, we can increase our profits, and overall there will be economic development in the country. So these rules, international laws and rules help the you know, business houses or, or to make their economic development of their country. There are various international agencies to simplify the procedure of international business, to encourage international business and to settle any disputes between the countries. They are World Trade Organization, World Intellectual Property Organization, International Labor Organization, International Chamber of Commerce, International Center for Settlement of Investment Disputes, Uniform Law on International Sale of Goods Designed by International Court of Justice, International Council for Commercial Arbitration, etc. So these are various um, agencies uh, which help the uh, conduct of international uh, business. And if there is any dispute, these organizations or the agencies help in settlement of these disputes. Overall, these agencies help uh, to run the business houses smoothly. So, antar yerda ne do antar rashya kanunu kanunu gulo matto nirbande ne gulo antar rashya kanunu sarvajani ka antar rashya kanunu matto rashtra gula kanuni ambudo niyama gulo rudi gulo matto mana danda gula gumpaagi ve. Ido ando samanya vagi deshe gula atwa rajya gula nadi ve bandi bandi Guritisala Utade. So, E. Antarashi Kanunugoli and Ida, uh, on Adu Antarashi Niamagulir, Badu, Rudi Uliru, Mana than the Liru, either one the Desha, the Inande Desha, Sneha, Sneha, one no Hechumadu, one the Bandana, one the Hechumadu, one the Nitinali, even the Kanunugalano, Madera Lagutade. So, E. Mula Guta, Manava, Hakugalano, Vadegisolo, uh, Sadas. Rashtragal and Nodue, Antarashia, Samudaada, Sadasir, Snea Samanda, one Utejisudu, Antarashia, Kanunu, Udesha Wagire, Antarashia, Kanunu, Udesha, Desha, Tamade, and Antarashi, Vapara, Vavahara, Lamele, Adikara, one Anumati Sudu, E. Kanunu, Ether, Rashtragal and the Vapara Matta Kelasa, the Samandala, Artica, Prajan, Lulu, the Ristagulisulu, Sahaya Madotere. So, Ili, one the Rashtra, the Inanda Rashtra, the Samandalano. Cut to the salagi, Matu, uh, vapor one hechu the salagi, uh, Kelsa the Samanda Matu, one do on the Artica Vagi, Garista Golisolo, E. one do, uh, Antarashe Kanu Nugolatan, uh, Nibanda Nagolo, Sahaya Marta Venta, Ilhelbolo. So Antarashe Vavahada Kari Vidhana Vano, Sarali Karisolo, Antarashe Vapor of Vano Protsa Hitsolo, Matu Desha Vula Nodue, Yaude. Viva the Galano, Bagi Harisolu, Vivi the Rashtria, Agency Galive Augalu, Vishwa Vapara Samste, Vishwa Bodhika Asti Samste, Antarashtria Karmika Gata Sangatane, International Chamber of Commerce, Udike Viva the Ithyartaka Antarashtria Kendra, International Court of Justice, Vinasa Gulisida Sarakugala, Antarashtria Marata the Mele, Eka Rupa the Kanunu. International Council for Commercial Arbitration, Arbitration, Ityadi. So, Ivella agencies Golu, even the Antarashe Matadali, Iva, Vebahara, Samstagalige, Vapara one Saralavagi, Madkondu Hogodrali, Atho Yaude one do Antarashra Matadali, Yaude one the Gondalagala Daga, Jagalagala Daga, then Hegi Bagi, Bagi Haruspe Kanodo. Even the agencies Mukantara, uh, Yella Kanunagalu, uh, Nadistare, Avando uh, Kanunanu 
ಪಾಲನೆ ಮಾಡ ಮಾಡೋದಿರ್ಬೋದು ರೂಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರೆಗ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಫಾಲೋ ಮಾಡೋದಿರ್ಬೋದು ಸೊ ಸರಳವಾಗಿ ಯಾವುದೇ ತೊಂದರೆ ಇರಲಾರದ ರೀತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ಒಂದು ವ್ಯವಹಾರ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಗಳಿಗೆ ಸಹಾಯ ಮಾಡೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಮುಂದಾಗಿದ್ದಾವೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ಬೋದು ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಐ ಬಿ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ವಿತ್ ಅನದರ್ ನ್ಯೂ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಇನ್ ಮೈ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಅಂಟಿಲ್ ದೆನ್